<laughs> Even though we're landlocked, Colorado knows how to beach. Like a big beach with only made into a mountain. We're full of frustrated sand architects and water quality experts. <laughs> but not all are willing to test the waters alone. I don't want to. At the base of Great Sand Dunes National Park. Uh, I feel like an ice cube. My hands do. And it's cold. I feel like the Antarctic and the Arctic combined. So cold. And so it's been a banner year for surge flow. The expert who works here knows this year's heavy snow is why Mendo Creek is running so fast. And this year it's been much way above average, so we've gotten good stream flow. He can also explain why water moves this way. Well, it, it flows in a very unusual manner known as surge flow. To me, it kind of looks like those little waves that come from the ocean. Sometimes it gets slow and sometimes it gets fast. Fast moving water over sand forms anti-dunes. And as those humps form, they're unstable, so they get steeper and start to migrate upstream until they collapse. Creating a surge. I am trying to raft and not hit your tripod. <laughs> That's sometimes unpredictable. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> The beachgoing pros think about it differently. Like squishy. It just feels like some slime that is under my feet that's like moving. I like that the sand is so like soggy and muddy. These experts <coughs> don't really need to understand the dunes to make the best of a Colorado beach day. <coughs>